GoPro and overheating issues. In this video, we're gonna solve 100% problem for overheating GoPro and no matter what model you have, GoPro 9, GoPro 10, GoPro 11, all of them, even Go, like GoPro session, all of them have overheating issues. And in this video, like 100% after this video, you will solve that problem. I will show three different ways how to solve it. I will explain why we have that issues. I will show you like what exactly like the problem is, and uh, I will, like I saw quite a few videos on YouTube about that problem and a lot of people like talking about a lot of different stuff. Some of them are like better, some some of that videos are worse, but my approach is totally different. I am a nuclear physicist, like my background is nuclear physics, and uh, so I'm quite technical and I will be able to explain uh, like what the processes are behind overheating and what's the ways, like general understanding, what's the way, how to solve that uh, in like theory and uh, like really practical ways, uh, really like practical devices, what you can buy on uh, like any website, AliExpress, Amazon, whatever, uh, to solve that or hidden problem almost immediately. And you will be able to like to shoot um, infinite amount of time at any temperature, at any conditions. And I've tried that, that, that is working actually. <laughs> So why we like, first of all, let's divide this video to like three different like parts. And first part, I will explain you why we have our hidden issues. Like really not because like camera is hot or like uh, it's, it produce heat because like it's like an electronics or something like that. I will explain like really the process behind getting camera overheat and what parts of camera are really creating that amount of heat and why we have that problem. In the second part, I will explain you uh, how we can, um, like what devices we can use to solve that overheating issues. And I will show you like several different ways to solve that issues. And uh, at the end, I will show you like just 100% uh, like very effective uh, way to solve uh, overheating issues just in extreme temperature, which like has some cons for that like last uh, way to solve it. But some pros are that that way is like 100%. So let's start with, with the beginning and why we have our hidden issues for a GoPro camera. So that's obviously electronics and we have a battery inside it and battery like contains some uh, like stored energy. And when it's like when electronics works, um, I'm not a like native speaker, so it will be a little bit different for me. But um, in in general, uh, you you have like two sources of heat for this camera. You have th some heat which are which is generated in a like processor and a micro SD card, whatever inside the camera. And another part of heat is generated in um, your battery. And like that's like two. Uh, there's like one chain of, of like electricians going around uh inside and um so we have like two different uh parts of camera producing the heat and uh, we have our hidden issue not because like we produce too much heat like uh, camera produce too much heat we have our hidden issue be just because um amount of heat produced in a camera is more than amount of heat going out of camera so like that's like the main reason that's the main point uh, we don't care about the amount of heat produced inside the camera. We don't heat about like voltage, temperature and, and whatever. We care about amount of heat produced, uh, when it's more than amount of heat, like took out to like, like space around, um, when it's more, uh, you will have an overheating issue. So like you have like some, some imagine like some bottle with water and one on one, way we add in water and with another like pump we taking water out and uh, like we have like water going out of like that bottle if amount of water going inside is more than amount of water going outside so a uh, general idea so uh, how we can take heat outside of the camera obviously when camera becomes hot it start to like lose some heated energy from all the surface, uh, two different ways. Uh, one is radiation, so like it's uh, infrared radiation, and another one is just um, like convection. So uh, colder wind going like around the camera and taking up some heat from camera and like took it away. 
and not every part of camera is equally good or uh, even uh, like getting heat out for example uh like this part is glass this part is like rubber and uh, uh plastic this part is like probably also plastic this part is glass and this part is metal actually and the the metal parts are much better in terms of like um, getting heat out of the camera and get it uh, getting like so heat can go faster through the metal parts compared to like plastic parts or any other parts and we have these two like really really interesting things they are interesting because they are made of metal and they usually when you use any like plastic um, plastic mount they are kind of hidden so you are if this part is actually like like a radiator for the camera and um, usually you have plastic mount which uh, like protect it from working as radiator so, so uh, camera will not be able to lose heat when you will cover that by like plastic mount so like first like, we are approaching to like first way to solve that problem we can just go to aliexpress or ebay amazon whatever and buy uh, not plastic but aluminum or like a stainless steel mount and uh, just mount it like that and uh, screw that and after that uh, we completely change like a um, heat going heat like how fast we can get heat out of the camera f through these parts because this is also metal and we will be able to get uh like heat energy from these black parts to our mount and our mount is like much bigger piece of metal and we will be able it, it will work like literally like a radiator for your camera but that's like it it makes some difference but that's sh that's uh in a lot of cases that is that's not enough and another way uh to like improve your like getting heat out of camera is to replace this piece of plastic this is like actually like a window of, of your uh, like battery section so you can remove it pretty easily and replace it with a metal one usually you can find a lot of metal ones in the internet and uh, sometimes they have even like this hole which made which will make camera not waterproof but in, if you have a overheating problem probably you are not under the water so um you can just replace this one with this one add it there and after that you will have like even like even more um like uh, ways to get out for heat from a camera so this configuration is already like more um more efficient in terms of like losing heat compared to original one with a plastic mount and plastic um, door after that we need to understand that um like we, we can do it even better you can find case but not a plastic one but a metal one and put that case put like full uh, full stainless steel all or aluminium cage put it uh put your camera inside that cage and this cage would be even better in terms of uh, like it would be even better radiator compared to like this thing so this will improve but like uh not 100 percent metal cage will improve like even better not not 100 percent but like this is like your first level this one is like a metal cage which i like don't have right now on a screen is a second level you can even uh, like go further with this one and remove this like black piece of like foam or whatever with a thermal pod like that and um, like probably two layers or, or thermal of this thermal part will will works in this case uh, to be able to get more heat from your battery. So we have right now uh, two ways to solve that problem. One is metal mount and metal door, and another one is metal cage. And uh, now we are approaching to a third one. Third one is to connect your camera to power source to the power bank for example so when, when we connect our camera to power bank we can turn it on and it will work much longer compared to situation when we just like just uh, just use a camera as usual 
So even uh, when we are connected to a not like super fast source of like not very powerful source, probably we need to like restart it a little bit. Yeah, let's start it again. Um, Firebird, okay. So yeah, when you see that, that your camera is charging, that means some some energy goes directly through from power bank to your camera and you will be able to uh, like because you need to understand that uh, part of the heat created by battery and if your uh, power bank works as your battery you'll be able to like move some like source of heat from from your battery to power bank um, and for power bank or heating is not an issue. So in this configuration, it will work much better, but we have even better situation. For example, if I will turn it off and um, I will basically just remove whole like battery and use camera like that. In some cases, for example, when you are making video inside a car, uh, you can like use literally like that or with open door to like have even more ventilation or like you can close it with this uh, like metal, metal thing, metal door and uh, after that, one second. And like use it like that. And you will be able to turn on the camera. Uh, let me show you that like battery is not inside. Uh, battery is not inside, but I can turn on camera even without battery. It will show me like no battery inside right now. So like no battery. But in this configuration, camera still will be like working no problem at all. And um, we will not have any e overheating issues like in any time, any case, because like our, one of the, our, one of the sources of heat is better or is like not in a camera at all. Um, and the camera has much more, um, like m much more ways to cool it down because, because we have like open door, we have like a lot of ventilation there. And part of our heat, almost like 50% of our heat are produced in a power bank, which is like not affecting power bank at all because it's huge, maybe not like 50%, but huge amount of heat are produced in a power bank, in a battery. So in this configuration, we'll not have any overheating issues at all. Uh, so let's summarize what we learned from, from this video. We have, we understand that we need to help camera lose heat. We can do that by aluminum or metal, any metal mount. We can like put it over there instead of plastic one. We can use metal door instead of usual plastic door. We can um, use a camera with, uh, with battery inside, but uh, start to charge it and it will, be, it will be better already. Or we can even remove a battery and use faster, faster source of power, power delivery in this case, and start camera with external power source. And in that situation, it will like, it will be possible to just like work with, uh, with this camera forever. Like as long as you, as you have like some space in the battery. And another like small trick, which you can use is you can just uh, when you are close to overheating, for example, you know that your cam camera can work for 20 minutes in a row without overheating and after that you will have overheating issues. You can turn it off after like 15 minutes, took out your one battery, you, have, you can have like several batteries like that, uh, took out one battery, put inside another one, cold one, and uh, like work for like 10 minutes, uh, 10 more minutes, then again take out hot battery, Put, uh, put back like a uh, cold one, which is like per US battery, or you can like use three batteries and like change it in a, like, um, in a circle. And uh, just by having like three different batteries and changing battery one, uh, one to another every like 10, 15, 20 minutes, depends on your like weather, temperature inside, uh, outside, whatever, 
uh, you will be able to like uh, work with your camera with no overheating issues almost like uh, indefinitely. So uh, hope after this video you will be able like to solve all your overheating issues. I 100% sure that that will help if you will actually do that. Uh, we don't need that, uh, but I had an idea to like put it put it somewhere on a camera and uh, like use some something to like make it tidy um, over there. But like I, I'm 100% happy with like my solutions with power bank with metal mount and metal door. Okay, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to this channel, and um, see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.